Hi there, Ooh, <laughs> Libra. This is your reading with me for September for Love 2020. I hope you are doing well. We're gonna have a look, see what's coming through, what messages, information, clarity I can give to you for today. So this is gonna be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So I really do hope that it helps you and gives you tons and tons and tons and tons of clarity. <laughs> um, also, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information is also in the description box below. They're done within 24 to 48 hours. Last thing I want to mention is my intention items are on Etsy, so I'm wearing a love bracelet, law of attraction bracelet, and also a yin and yang, yin and yang, yin and yang, there we go, yin and yang bracelet as well. They are meditated with, sage, and there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life. There's over a hundred varieties of different bracelets, and also there's embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, wallet, or purse. These are hand embroidered, and yeah, there's also necklaces, crystals, teas, lots of different things on there as well. So link will be in the description box below. Okay, so Libra, let's see what's coming through for love. I'm intrigued, excited, curious, as can be. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Like you're thinking a lot about things. Perhaps things are a little bit stuck right now because the hanged man shows that things are just sort of, you're just like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like things are just, what's the word? It's not, like it's not always just stuck, it's just things are at a pause. There we go. Things are, that are, things are at a pause, nothing really much happening. Um, page of Wands. Page of Wands. Four of Wands, Nine of Wands. Okay, especially if things are at a pause, I would say expect the unexpected. Like things can unpause, if that makes any sense. Um, so the Nine of Pentacles here shows you being in your own energy, feeling strong, feeling confident, feeling dominant, feeling like, you know what, things are good, things are gonna get better, things are strong. Uh, it's just you feeling strong and confident, you know, within yourself. So the Nine of Pentacles really does show that energy where there's a lot of strength that you've had here in the situation for a while. And the Three of Wands shows that perhaps you've really been sort of waiting in the situation and thinking, you know, hopefully things can come together, hopefully things can progress. And it's just like you've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and there's just nothing really progressing. There's nothing, you know, just happening. There's like nothing um, in that sense. And it just feels like really why, you know, why, how, what, you know, and it's just, it's just like, what, you know? Um, so the three of wands with three of pentacles, you know, this shows lessons because threes and tarot indicate karma. And, you know, the three of wands here is this energy of waiting and it's this energy of time. It's this energy of things being at times quite slow. Three of pentacles here is a really strong energy of, um, you know, teamwork, collaboration, messages coming through as well. And so even with the page of wands, page of wands is a messenger and so is the page of pentacles. You know, this is like messages, information coming through. Eight of um, wands is also about messages. I feel like you're going to get a lot of messages. Okay, so expect the unexpected. You can get a lot of messages from this person and where you feel like things are perhaps at a pause or perhaps you've been ghosted, there's some messages definitely coming your way, which will allow you to ponder upon them because the eight of wands are the messages and then the nine of wands is you thinking about everything that has been said. And I think that this will allow you to get to a healthy conclusion as well. Make sure you're looking out for yourself. I think that's really important. Um, looking out for your own personal needs in the situation as well, you know, because Sometimes what I what I find is people just want someone, you know, they just want someone or well, they want a specific person, but they'll do it by just putting all of their needs aside, um, which, you know, is not the happiest thing in the world, but it's just something I thought I'd mention. So it's what we've got here. Um, yeah, the three to the four of wands shows divine timing. So in September, you know, we're seeing here definitely a lot of messages, a lot of communication, you know, a lot of clarity giving, which by the way is important, very, very important.
Okay, so seven of wands, okay, these are sort of those um, challenges where perhaps, you know, before you're waiting here, you're waiting for these messages and then, you know, unexpectedly they just come through. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing here. Um, so the hangman is a pause. Now you could have been ghosted, you may have not heard from this person for a while, or you may just not want to reach out to them. Perhaps you're doing no contact. Um, and here they are, okay, reaching out. You've got the magician. Okay, so that's the number one sign here. Magician is ruled by Mercury. Mercury is the communicator, okay? So what I'm seeing here is um, you've definitely got here quite a bit... Um, Sorry, I'm trying to write down the title and I just put unexpected, the expected, like that's definitely not it, it's expect the unexpected. Um, the magician here is, you know, very, very strong in terms of them reaching out. So, you know, if you're wondering, should I reach out? Should they reach out? Like, you know, let them reach out to you. Eight of Pentacles here is about putting in hard work. So again, let them put in the effort. I think that's really important at the end of the day for, you know, effort to be put in. Like you can't always be the one doing, doing, doing. You really can't. Uh, the other person has to put in effort and if they give up or they disappear that's that's on them you know you just can't be putting in effort one-sided I was going to say one-sidedly it's definitely not a word is it one-sidedly but it's it's so true you know you just can't keep doing 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 when the other person is not wanting to do you know it's one of those things so it can be just really difficult really hard um, and very very challenging and then you've got the knight of pentacles and the knight of pentacles here is a really strong energy of progression of direction you know movement good energy um the knight of pentacles is a really strong energy in regards to you know just things growing and being able to go forward and progress forward and you know just being able to sort of have that you know good energy and good vibes so definitely think the knight of pentacles here is a really you know strong um, energy and also the Knight of Pentacles is about things, you know, continuing forward, carrying forward, um, and then slowly but surely coming to you as well, which again is a good energy as well to have. So that's what we've got, Libra. This is your reading. I know it's like super short, super simple, like straight to the point. Um, I like the shorter readings. Do let me know what you think about them. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below how this resonated. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, do check out the description box below for information on the Etsy store as well where all of my intention items are um, and definitely do take care as well all right bye libra